I think something that people are not uh, familiar with in crypto is that projects have to provide liquidity on exchange, right? Like it's not, you can't just have a pair, especially on the biggest ones. You can't just have a pair and then let things be organic. You actually have to provide liquidity on both sides to be Mm -hmm. able for people to not, have like a jittery experience, right? It has to be the smoothest possible. And so this is not something that is done in other kind of markets, but it is the case in crypto. And so those obviously have a cost. You have you have a cost to have the liquidity there, but then you have also an additional cost. It was the market maker that Rob was talking about earlier, yeah. where you basically have a bot that has to move around to make sure that the proper liquidity is there at the same the proper time so that people uh, can trade in and out um, as smooth as possible. And Correct. at different times of the day. I mean, I, exactly. One, 24/7. One, one way somebody kind of put market making to me that, that was interesting for me to understand was like, it, it's so that people at, at three o'clock can trade with people at six o'clock. Like it's, it, it's, uh, it, it makes it so that that's what you meant by a smooth kind of experience. Like it's not just like this one anyway. time of day when it's good for everybody. Um, so I think that was, so there's, there's costs associated with that. There's, you know, and, and there's organization associated with that to talk to market makers. That, that's an industry, right? There's, there are people who do that for a living, uh, companies, Correct. lots of them. One, one other thing that I think you found that was interesting is that the exchanges <laughs> that were on Bitru, uh, Ascendex and KuCoin, they're all top 50. Uh, they're, they're, they're not that bad. Um, that's right. And, uh... I think even more than that, um, while KuCoin went into a very strict KYC, uh, I think last June, um, Ascendex and Btrue actually have, uh, for Ascendex, it is actually uh, totally open. I think you don't have to verify. For Btrue, there is, you need level one. However, this is just an email or a phone number. You don't have to provide an ID. So those platforms actually are um are actually great in our situation. Like when I was looking into potential platforms to look into and get listed, they are actually getting us some of the best platform that would suit our our case. So it is interesting. We'll see how we can develop those platforms. Uh, we were talking about market making. None of those platforms have market making actually. Well, KuCoin so, does. Sorry. No, KuCoin. sorry, Ascendex and yeah. Btrue. I was mentioning yeah. because and actually, if you want to understand the difference between market making. A market a pair with market making a pair without. Go and look at Bitru versus KuCoin. I mean, that's now you can see the difference. That's right. Um, it, it's huge. <laughs>